Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and today I want to be trying the same app across multiple iPhones. Uh, the app I want to test is an ele electromagnetic field tester. Now here I have uh, an e-meter, uh, yeah, an e-meter, an electromagnetic wave tester. It'll tell me uh, it's got the, the H field right there in the E field. Off at the top. Anyways, I'm going to take away all these phones and individually uh, start them up so you can see what they read. And with this test, we'll be able to see if uh, if they agree with each other. First and foremost. And we can see, since I'm putting them... Since I'm going to be putting them one at a time, we'll see exactly how much they interfere with each other. If they interfere with each other. Just gotta get them all together now. And see. Now, I wanted to go with iPhones in this because the hardware is all very standardized. And because of that, you should be able to see uh, standardization between the apps, I'd like to think. Here we're going to test to see if uh, if that's a thing, see if they agree with each other, and to see if they. Oh, gotta install that one just yet. Huh, that's interesting. It just took a pretty significant drop, didn't it? Or how often it's testing. This one seems to be testing uh, dramatically. That one. Okay, yeah, they're in a constant state. Gotta get a uh, better magnet. Oh, wait, sorry, I gotta calibrate it out here and then bring it in. And see what it says. Interesting. Interesting. They're not too far off from each other. Um, sorry, I gotta find the app on this phone now. Ch -ch -ch. Here we go. Bring it back here and bring it in. Well, okay, that one's uh, that one's definitely a little, little bit different. You know what? I mean? I should put it up here. Yeah, that one's definitely a little different. Oh, maybe I get some glare going on there. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. And I'm sure I got one or two more. Be right back. All right, I got them all going right now. So, interestingly enough, I am really surprised with how these things are faring. The interesting part is that all of them, except for this one, are kind of sort of relatively within a, a 40 point range, I guess. And that ain't so bad, but this one is way off by like hundreds of points. And this is the only one that has a new screen and a new button in it. The rest are original. Some are damaged, true, uh, but the rest are original. Okay, so like this one and this one are pretty far off. So let's see what happens if I switch them out. Maybe it has something to do with the locations. What would happen if I just flip them around? A little more. Meanwhile, I'm not getting like I'm not getting anything here in my analog meter. I know this thing. Uh, I know this thing works. I can get it to beep. Here, I'll put it near a light. Can you hear that? Interestingly enough, that brings the E field up, but not uh, the H field up. So that's bringing the E field up. But the UT, which is what these are measuring, no, she's already gone to sleep, is measuring uh, pretty much zero. I wonder what that does. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting that uh, 
they all seem to be working closely together. Except for the one that I replaced the screen on. Okay, so let's... I wonder where the pickup is. Okay, it's time I got a magnet. Alright, so here I have a relatively uh, powerful magnet. This one is at 122. I can't make a jump at all. Whoa! I can drive this one nuts. That one too. That one. Nothing. Are you even working anymore? No, you're frozen, aren't you? Oh, there we go. Yeah, you froze on me. wonder if I can get it to max out. So I can get a 1477. I can get it to 13. Fourteen, not bad, not bad. So these can definitely sense the magnetic field. This one isn't sensing it. Maybe this this one is designed for more of an electromagnetic field. Honestly, I'm not a professional when it comes to this kind of stuff. Got to pick up there for a sec. Man. Oh, whatever. Anyways, yeah, so the, the point I've proven here is that these things can pick up uh, electromagnetic frequencies. We cannot use that in a fail safe environment, but they would be good for a yes or a no for if, for if it fluctuated for if an electromagnetic field fluctuated. So I believe uh, that these could be used for tools like that, for yes or no, to see if something <coughs> fluctuated. But still, pretty cool, pretty cool. Once again, I really wanted to do this with the Apple phones because most of the hardware is standardized, so I could get more of a standardized re reading. And uh, I'm really impressed, I'm really impressed. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Net from Nev's Tech, but it's like, subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And uh, like always, uh, take care of each other. Have a good one.